Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again. I'm sorry that I've been away this week. I was all the way in Quebec City for a work trip. So I'm back in the States now and I can record again. Hello to my Canadian friends. I was completely lost in Quebec, man. They they were just speaking French to me and I'm just like, whoa, 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 English, please, English menu. But <laughs> it was a fun experience. It was a very fun experience. But today we're back and we're gonna continue our showcase of Opio 7. We cover Lucy. We cover Vegapunk, we cover Boa. The next one in our list is Curly Bonnie. And this is a mono green leader that is very defensive, right? Because what she does is that once per turn, when your opponent attacks, you can rest one of your dons that is active, and that lets you rest one of your opponent's leaders or characters, which means that if the opponent has two units on the field, or if the opponent has one unit on the field, their leader and a character, if they attack with either one, you can rest the other. And that's what I mean by defensive. You're always able to get rid of one of the opponent's attacks. Now, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this thing, right? So, so the list that you see here in the screen, and this is the list that you're going to see over the next three days for the three videos, I'm not sold on it whatsoever. I, I just wanted to try kind of everything and just throw my dart like throw a dart and see what see where it lands see where it lands um it's weird it's weird right because like part of the idea with bond is that because you have this defensive capability that you're always getting rid of one of the opponent's attack it lets you be really greedy by playing these big boss monsters right so the kid the doflamingos the holy jones the soros it lets you play these big boss monsters that because again, you're never gonna be any threat where you might get kind of rushed down by the opponent because you're always almost always able to get rid of one of their attacks, right? However, it does feel a little bit lacking sometimes. I feel like maybe I'm playing too many big bodies in this deck. Maybe I need to either go all in on Soro or go all in on Kid. I do think you do want to play four Dolphys, and I do think you want to play four Hori Jones. I just don't know this what the split here is between Kid and Soro. Uh, but I do like the Soro a lot because of the black yellow Luffy's, right? And I like the Kid a lot because of all the matchups where Kid can just kind of lock opponents down. But maybe it is more of a Soro meta more than anything else. But anyways, anyways. So that's all to say that I'm not sure what the best list is here, honestly. But I will tell you some cards that are going to be a staple in almost any Bonnie deck. First is Cavendish. Almost every Bonnie deck is going to be playing for Cavendish. Because what Cavendish does, and this is from the EB1, is that when you play him... But when he attacks, he, he lets you have to, like, he lets you get two down back, right? So if you have two rested down, they become activated again, which means that playing Cavendish really just costs you three down. Because as soon as you play him, he gives you two rested down back, right? So it's really nice because he's synergizes really well with, with the bunny, allowing you to kind of get that down back. And if you have a Cavendish, you don't feel bad about playing Dolphy on turn 10 because you can then attack with Cavendish, get two down back. And that, you know, one of those dons will be used for your Bonnie to press something else that the opponent might have if your Dofi for whatever reason didn't hit all the characters already. So this is a staple in this deck. We are also playing this Crashman Apu here. You can either play this one or you can play the Static deck one. Both of them are 2k counters. Uh, I kind of dug this one a little bit better because you can rest one of your opponent's two cost or less characters on play right away. So usually you're never going to play this, but in very edge cases, it lets you rest, for example, if you're going in the mirror, it lets you rest an opponent's Rocinante, and then you're able to like attack into it to kind of clear it up. So, you know, it might actually be useful in certain situations. Then we do play Iso just there as a 2k counter, nothing else really, but she can also be used to rest an opponent's blocker as a, when, um, when you're ready to kind of potentially go for lethal, right? So let's say that you, you're about to go for lethal, but the opponent play a Rebecca, you can play the Iso, rest the Rebecca, and then just do your thing. And otherwise, it's just a 2k counter. Uh, we do play three kids, right? The kids is there to kind of lock people down. I find kid to be less and less useful in the matchups in OPO7, so I'm kind of leaning more towards Soro over the kid. Uh, but he can still be really useful because, again, you can play him, and now you have, like, this extra defenses, right? Especially because we play a lot of blockers in this deck, so we're able to protect our kid and also have our Bonnie ability to protect even further from these big attacks that the opponent can do into you. 
The Dofi, I do think, is a staple. Just letting us lock down the opponent and continue to put pressure into them, especially if you can chain Dofi after Dofi after Dofi. It can be pretty problematic against the opponent. But again, it's usually a lot more useful when you have the Roach or the Cavendish on the field. That way you can play your 10 cards Dofi, but it still have a done active in case that you actually need to use your leader ability. Uh, but just like always, just lock people down. Uh, for Rosinantes, and Rosinantes here uses a nice cheap blocker, and we can also summon it with Captain Kid. Um, I've been debating whether we want to play the Baby 5, to be honest, since we're playing Dolphy and Rosinante, and some uh, whoever whoever wins this will becomes Justice. But I feel like we probably need a little bit more Rosinante, uh, Doflamingo cards to actually be able to play the Baby 5 to be able to search either one of these two. But regardless, Rosinante is just a very staple, uh, and obviously it lets you also protect your units if they're rested from the opponent trying to KO them. We do play for Hori Jones, and I do think Hori Jones is very critical because it lets us, again, just rest the opponent's units or rest their done, whichever way we want to do it, and allows... It also gives us access to a rush attacker, which can be really critical at getting rid of opponents' certain units. It's one of the ways that we finish a lot of the games, and since we have five life, sometimes the downside of taking a life is not as bad as it seems. Soro is really a lot here for especially the black yellow luffy matchup right this card can win that matchup very often but it can also be very useful in a lot of other matchups to just put pressure into the opponent force them to have to find a way to deal with sorrow or you potentially able to just clear their board or potentially even win the game with the sorrows triple attack pretty much right so a uh, very good card here very good finisher for this deck especially because it costs nine so if anything if we don't have cavendish or roach on the field we can always play it and it still have a done left over for our bonnie to rest the opponent's character or the leader now let's go out let's go through some of the new opio 7 cards so we are playing again and this is another card that's going to be a staple in almost every bonnie deck four of the rogue right it's a blocker and at the end of the turn, it lets you set one of your Dawn as active, which this means that you can use all your Dawn and know that at the end of the turn, you're always going to get a Dawn right back for your Bonnie ability. So it ends up being really, really clutch because sometimes you want to have that extra Dawn to attack into the opponent's unit. Uh, so the Roach lets you do that, right? It's not like you always have to play with one less Dawn. And again, it can also synergize really well with your Dolphy, allowing you to play Dolphy and still have a Dawn active for the Bonnie. Uh, I do play four of this five cost Bonnie. That's this is another card that I'm very iffy about. That I don't know if it's actually good in this deck or not. Uh, but I do like her allowing us to be able to uh, to just keep one of the opponent's rest of characters locked down. So it's kind of like a mini Dofi in a way, but it's also a nice Setsuke body, uh, which can be really useful at allowing us to attack into the opponent. More than anything, sometimes like I don't find my Cavendish, I don't find my Hawkins, so I want something else to play, and Bonnie usually ends up filling up that slot a lot of the times. Then we have a staple here, and that's going to be Hawkins, right? Hawkins is going to be four off as well in most of the Bonnie decks that you see, and that's because Hawkins has a crazy effect. Once per turn, if your opponent was to remove this unit by any effect, whether it's KO, bottom deck, or even trash, like if you're going against someone that plays Sets Cost Brook, for example, you can rest one of the opponent's characters instead and keep this Hawkins alive. This is really, really useful, especially against black leaders or black decks, because a lot of those decks, the way that they remove your units is by effects from their units from their characters the problem is is that the moment that character hits the field imagine that the opponent brings hawkins down to two costs and then they try to play lucy the moment that lucy hits the field and tries to kill this hawking the hawkins can just rest that lucy and keep itself alive so it makes it really hard for black player for black decks to be able to do this unfortunately decks that have events like think of blue or even red, right? Like, I don't know, if people that are potentially playing Jet Pistol, right? But mostly blue with the Gravity Raging Tiger. What they can do is that they can attack with all their units first, make, make it so that they have no characters in, that are active on the field, and then do the Gravity Raging Tiger. And because you have no targets for the Hawkins, it will get bottom deck. So you have to be a little bit careful against blue because of that. But against all the decks, Hawkins can be really clutch. And it's a big 7k blocker, which is really hard for opponents to deal with. We do play two Bartos, another card that we can summon with the kid if necessary. And just gives us another blocker to kind of protect him. And then four Bonnies. Obviously, we're playing a lot of Supernova cards. So the Bonnies just lets us search and we can potentially protect it. Uh, we are playing two of the zero mana event. 
And that's because, as you can see, we play a lot of non-counter cards between the Soros, the Dofis, the Hody Jones, and the Kids. So that lets me kind of make my hand a little bit less awkward. Now, the strategy with this deck is going to be, again, slowly kind of build your board, rest the opponent's units, attack into the units, and then eventually, once you get to your 8, 9, 10 done, start dropping bomb after bomb after bomb, right? Make, make force the opponent to find ways to deal with your big bombs otherwise they're going to be in a really tough situation and they won't be able to do anything against you right so that's kind of that's kind of what we want to do here and that's kind of the game plan here with this version of the deck um again don't not so on it so i'm completely down to recommendations here if people want to comment for the future bonnie video you know later down when we're more into opio 7 uh, but this is the list that i ended up settling on we'll see what ends up being kind of more of the staple so today we're gonna have i think it's three games we're gonna have three games we're gonna start with a game against boa uh, just against the blue matchup we're gonna start one game again we gonna have one game against black a lucy player and then another game against a gecko moria player so i hope that you enjoy the games coming up soon and if you do make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us we post one piece videos every single day enjoy the games in this match we're gonna against boa and this is a tough matchup for us. I'm gonna keep this hand and just go like in and sorrow. And if the opponent finds their six cost boas to stop the sorrow, then there's not much that I can do, right? But I like the idea of Hawkins here, because Hawkins does make it a little bit more awkward for the opponent to they, they have to like properly attack into us, right? Uh yeah, so we'll we'll go like that. Do I wanna play we get the first boa. So we really know they have a boa in their hand. So again, this sower is going to be very awkward until they can get rid of that boa. Do I just play this here and just chill? I'm just giving them... I'm giving them fodder for the gravity blade. Is my only concern by playing the Bartolomeo. Because I could have played the Bartol with the kid later, right? And that probably would have been okay as well. I guess if the opponent shows me the law here, they don't get the draw because they have seven cards, right? Yeah, they don't get the draw because they have seven cards. They're going to try to attack with this Mihawk to fix their hand a little bit, which I think is fair. Uh, we, we definitely want to attack into them. There are two options. I mean, we can attack five twice or we can just attack six once. Do I care about this Bartolomeo? When, I, I'm going to be blocking with it anyway, so we might as well just go here. 5 and 5. And play the Roach. One can take one, or they can give me two cards. Okay, so they gave me a 2k counter there. Interesting. They take that one, though. We go like this. Put this active. So the opponent is also going to get one attack. And of course, it's going to go into the Barto. We're going to be at six, uh, 7 next turn, so we can go Hawkins. I guess, I guess I guess if this stays alive, you know, I can do more than that, right? Okay, yeah. So they draw two cards, they have to trash two cards. Thousand Worlds, pudding. Sure. Still keeping that boa, right? Which, of course, is going to be a problem for us later. We can go Hawkins, and Hawkins can at least make it a little bit more awkward for them to just play Gravity Blade. They can still do it. Oh, they're just going to go Thousand. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Yeah, sure. Um, why do we go Cavendish instead? Why do we go Cavendish instead to make sure that we actually kill this guy? I guess I can no. If I if I go two units, it's too easy for them to go gravity blade. So I think I go Cavendish. I'm forcing to give me two two Ks here if they wanna give it give me that. So that's two thousand worlds gone. Yeah. So we'll go like this. This is gonna potentially bait out the boa because opponent might choose to stun this and just bottom deck their own Sengoku. Maybe I don't know. So this might be this might be the boa out. So we're at seven. We could go kit. 
Okay, yeah, so this is gonna be baiting out the boa. Opponent's gonna go boa here. Yep. Get, he's dealing with the Cavendish. Unfortunately for us... Playing the kid... He can die to the boa. To the boa. So this kid can die to boa, which is a problem. If we go... So we didn't have another blocker. I guess we can... I guess we don't have to actually... The other option is that we can play Sorrow, right? We can play Sorrow, and that's going to force a Red Rock. Opponent's still going to have four down. Kid or Sorrow? Kid or Sorrow? Let's go Kid. And we don't have to... We don't have to put it rested right now. So let's force the Red Rock here anyways. If this Cavendish stays alive or gets to attack, I can go Soro and I still have enough Dawn. Yeah, like we'll take this one. Kaido? Okay, so they're gonna bounce this back. Alright. That's a that's a good that's a good one. That is a good one, right? So what can we do here then? I think this is a Sora play. Yeah, I think this is Sora play. I mean, this is two big attacks, though. Sora can potentially threaten the Kaido. I guess we can just freeze the Kaido next turn, right? So we can also just go Kid here. Kid is eight. We get two more back here. That puts me back to four, so we can actually... No, but we need to put a down on the kid to be able to get our value here. This is interesting. Interesting. So the Kaido, if they have another Kaido, they can also just bounce it back up again. That's why I like the idea of Soro here. But then I'm taking a lot of damage. Yeah, let's go like this. Let's go like this. And maybe we actually just play this Rocinante. Force the opponent to have to recall the Rocinante. I want to force the Red Rock out of them. They didn't show me the Red Rock last time, but that's because they had the perfect answer with Kaido. We can rest one of their units, which always is going to be the Boa. If they have a second Boa, they can stun this Sorrow. But I think I still got Dofi if they do that, right? Okay, well, we don't go Dolphy anymore. The opponent just took their took their pudding value, which makes sense. Still can lose to a Red Rock, though. That's not a Red Rock. So they're going to just return this Rosinante. And then try to kill the Cavendish instead. We still got two more kids. So the opponent did that because they knew that I had a kid in my hand. Losing the Cavendish sucks. Wait a second. I guess we don't have to lose the Cavendish. Yeah, I guess we don't have to lose the Cavendish. Because the opponent decided to not attack with Kaido. Alright, so... It has to be Sorrow. has to be Sorrow. We can go Hawkins. I guess the Soro is not killing this Kaido though. Soro is not killing Kaido unless I go all in for it. Like 12, 13, 14 type of thing. Play two with my thing here. I guess let's go like this first. All right, this is gonna give me the down back anyways. So we're back to 10. I don't wanna hit their life. So three down to restand the Soro. 1, 2, 3 is 12. 13, 14. 14? 14 three times is going to eat up your whole hand. But do we, we don't need two more done, right? 3. 
As soon as we keep four, we should be okay. Okay, we just go like this. 2k, 2k. I dare you to have it. 2k, 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 three times. So you can no longer be like 2k, 1k, 2k, 1k. It has to literally be 2k, 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 2k. For him to say Cairo. Cavendish still probably dies. Conan didn't find the gravity blade, so that's why they haven't been able to do anything to the Cavendish. But again, they got greedy last turn too, attacking with the boa first. So 2k... 2k, alright. I guess this way they can save the boa. Yeah, this way they can at least save the boa and have another... Okay, well, never mind. So why even counter if you want to let it go? Me confused. This and this lets me get the Bartolomeo and the kid at the same time. We just... Like, it's awkward because, I mean, the moment that the opponent removes the Sorrow or plays another Boa, I just play Kid, right? No Red Rock is huge for us. Opponent has to kill this Cavendish. I might honestly go Basil Hawkins and just attack. If I can clear their board and just go like 9, 9, 9, 9, I'll also be okay. Okay, so that's a Gravity Blade. So you finally get rid of my stuff. You get to draw. So Gravity Blade is gone. You get to attack into my life as much as you want. But you don't. Ooh. And now you cannot attack because I'm just going to rest one of your units. So the opponent is going to choose not to attack. And I guess we just go kid. Yeah, maybe maybe we just go kid and Barto here. Uh, do I want to even attack with this guy? I guess we might as well start soften them, soften them up. So this is nine. We're going to have one left over for... Yeah, I might as well start softening them up. Make it so that they actually have to have the blockers. Because now that we have the Hoodie Jones, we could potentially finish them off. We don't need to use this. Yeah, we'll go like this. Because now with the Hoodie Jones, we could technically kill them. Or at least force their whole hand. I just don't want to play Hoodie Jones until I feel safe with the kid in there. Because the problem is that they could still have so much removal. Maybe I should Maybe Maybe if I, I, didn't, I, I didn't need to attack with the Sorrow. Okay, so they're going to have to attack into this. So they're gonna have to put all the down into into attack into the kit. Oh, I don't like that. I mean, I get it. You get your boa value, but I don't like that. You're not you're not getting any value here. You're literally not getting any value here. Oh, I don't like that at all. Let's just clear their board. Let's just clear their board with Hori instead of attacking into their life. So if we go Hori, we can rest, rest. And attacking to both of this opponent still has three attackers but we'll have the kid yeah i mean i don't want to attack into the boa because the opponent has four cards right so if we go for hori we have to put one down here to attack for nine and we have another down for the hori to attack for nine as well right so we just go like this Opponent's gonna have to find another boa to deal with the sorrow. Alright. 
Uh, yeah, we'll attack this. I guess we can attack this for six. And then just attack their life for eight with the Hori. Put the, put the point in a position where, again, they have to find the answer for the Sorrow or they just lose. 3,000 worlds. So maybe they're not playing Red Rock. Maybe they're just playing 1,000 worlds on Gravity Blade. Okay, they found the Red Rock. But they... Okay, they... I guess they're going all in here then, right? You have to attack 8 and 9. They could get there. Ooh. Well, this is going to be 6, right? Yeah, this is going to be 6. And we have a 2k counter. I guess you gotta go for it. You gotta go for it. Otherwise, you're just losing. Yeah, you gotta go for it. Otherwise, you're just losing. Six cards, two life. What am I missing here? You know what's crazy? We don't even have to do it right now. Unless the opponent's like playing a random. <sighs> Six cards is a lot, is my concern, right? So we could go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I was surprised they put the Dawn on the on the Hancock. So opponent said they forgot the leader ability. If we go, okay, 10, 11, three times, nine and nine. So 9, 9, and 11 three times. That's 5 attacks. That should be enough, right? We go 9. That's 3 cards. We go 9 again. And then we go 11 three times. Especially if we start with the 9s. Because the 9s are forcing the opponent to have to like... Yeah, they have to counter out of this, right? They have to counter out of this. So we go 9 one more time. And then, yeah, and then we just go 11 three times, and that should be it. Okay. I guess opponent, 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 they have it last turn, right? If they didn't put any down on their boa, and they attack with this boa first, I rest that boa, and then this one will still have two more down, so it will be an 8k attack. So they, they had it. They had lethal, but they just forgot. That's unfortunate. That was a good game until that moment that the opponent forgot. Because they actually had Leto last turn if they forgot if they didn't forget about the Bonnie ability. So GG. In this match, we're gonna against Lushi. And this matchup is rough. I do like the Hawkins a lot though. Maybe I keep this. I like the Hawkins a lot because it's hard for the opponent to get rid of the Hawkins. So it's like it's like a, it's like a lot of value, right? We get the Tempest kick. Uh, do I want to? Do I want to attack into them? Honestly, I'm gonna play the slow game and not even attack into them. I'm gonna just, quote unquote, starve them out. And just so they don't find enough of their A drops, like enough enough uh, more, uh Gekko Morias to punish us. Okay, so we'll go like this. Go here. Uh, I kind of hate taking this attack, but I have to, I have to do it just because I don't have anything else. Opponent gets a Sabo from their from their trash. They lost the the thing here, so that's not bad. We'll go here for five. I played the Bonnie. The Bonnie's just gonna die for free. This guy's also gonna die for free though. So, uh, let's play the Bonnie. Let's let the opponent get value from their. Uh, Lushi, if they have Lushi. We know they have Sabo and Tempest Kick here. I don't want to get punished by an Isho, so I'm trying to, like, get my hand size smaller and smaller. So, we'll go here, and, um... We'll give you the counter. Again, just try to get my hand small. I could have blocked, because we know that the opponent's going to remove this. They, lock they put the Lushi to the trash... So they don't have it, right? So it's gonna be Sabo instead. Next turn we have seven, but we can attach one to the Bonnie and attack the Rebecca. We can even attack the Rebecca with the little Bonnie first, actually. Since she's at zero. 
I guess, um, I guess let's go here, right? If the opponent decides to block with the Sabo, am I okay with that? Because we have two options. We either get the search from the Barney. Let's get the search from the Barney. Let's get the search from the Barney. So let's go here. I don't really care about that Sabo. We're going to go here. And we're going to go here. Which gets me another Hawkins. Or another Barney. Which is better. Let's grab, let's grab the other Barney. Let's grab the other Barney. Now, the opponent could play Isho here. And that will blow my hand. Because I have exactly six. And the Isho will set them up. Will set them up to be able to do whatever they want to us. You have to play Isho first if you're going to do that. Yep, there we go. <laughs> That's what I was going You're going to play Isho first. And now you cannot attack. Because if you attack, I'll rest the Isho. Okay, so this is what we got to do, right? We got to go here. Rest the Isho. Block this. And then counter out of that one. We have to kill this Isho. We have to kill this Isho. If we go Carindish, it's going to cost me three. We will still have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six can let me go to nine, 11, 13. So that's going to be 2K, 2K, 1K. I don't feel safe doing that little. I need to play something though to get the Bali from a roach at the end of the turn. Three. I do I, I, I'm, not, I, I'm telling you though, I need to absolutely just kill this guy. Yeah, I need to absolutely kill this guy. So 2k, 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 1k. You wanna give me four cards? Give me four cards. Okay. We're gonna do the search here. If the opponent has another Isha, then they have another Isha. Uh, let's grab the 2k here and then at the end of the turn we'll be able to restand this one down second issue they can like the, the problem with them with hawkins is that unlike unlike uh blue right blue has like the advance to get rid of the hawkins Black usually relies on characters, right? Characters is what have their KO effects, right? The moment that a character hits the field, my Hawkins can rest it to keep itself from dying. And that's what makes Hawkins so good. A second issue is definitely a punish. They finally found the stage. So we we, don't, we no longer get that, that value that we were having. That we no longer can deal with the opponents. So they're going to go Lucy here, KO both units. Yep. So they play the Lushi. Okay, both of these. Um, do I have to go Hori Jones just so that we have a big attacker, or can I go Cavendish? Another Sabo. You can attack once, not. To, I mean, if you attack, I'm just gonna rest the Sabo. You know that. Okay. Yeah. If you attack, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just rest the Sabo. They knew that. So they didn't do it. If I go Hori Jones. I like the Hori. Wait, they actually didn't play this, right? They just... They, they... Oh, this is on play. Yeah, this is on play. So they did the span down already. So if I go Hori, that's seven down. That leaves me with two down to go for a 7k attack. Or I go like go eight. If I go Cavendish, if I go Cavendish, I can also develop the Bonnie. I'm, my, my fear with Cavendish is the opponent having... Okay, so Cavendish, Bonnie is five, so we can still go for one. And I want to see if the opponent tries to save it first. Oh, they didn't even try to save it. Okay, so... They didn't try to save it, which is interesting. So, am I just going for the searches then and just chilling? So I don't want to play Bonnie. I guess if, I guess if I don't play Bonnie, I don't have a unit to attack with next turn. So let's just play Bonnie. 
Let's just play Bonnie so that I have another attack here. Because I'm pretty sure the Cavendish is going to die here to the any Slobby plus the Lucy. Opponent's Trash is not great. So their Tempest Kicks are not activated just yet. Because they've been using a lot of this uh, Lucy. I mean, they did the Lucy, they did the Spandai. So they've been returning a lot of cards to their Trash. Uh, to their deck. The problem here is that like eventually they're going to run out of value. But I don't have a kid. I don't have a kid. I don't have a Sorrow. So, like, I don't have a Dolphy. So, like, I don't have, like, a big threat. Which is weird. You have to attack with the Lushi to get the minus one. Which enables my Bonnie to rest your saddle. Why do minus two on the Bonnie, though? You have to have another way to deal with Cavendish, right? Hmm. Weird game, weird game. Usually, I feel like I've always, I always lose this matchup. It's so good for the opponent. So, we use the car action. Rest this guy. I'm going to give you the block. I wonder if the opponent... Like, opponent has 8 done exactly. I'm going to say that the opponent wants to... Wants to try and play a gecko or something similar. Yep. You, you have to kill this Cavendish. Yep, so there you go. You, they get to kill KO both, which is exactly what they're going to go for. So yeah, so they get to KO the Cavendish because unfortunately they had their value there with the Sabo. And I don't have the Dolphy. Dolphy will be so good here, right? Resting all three units. Wow. That's unfortunate. So if we go Hody Jones, we can attack for eight. We still have two down, which lets me attack for seven into the opponent's saddle. Or we can attack for eight with the Hawkins, but then the opponent can just kill the Hawkins. I hate giving, I hate playing this Hori. I guess I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to play Hori. I don't think I have a choice. So. We can go A into the Savo here. Force two cards out of the opponent's hand. We can go A into the Savo here. Force two cards from the opponent's hand. They don't go for it. They're going to attack with the Savo into the Hawkins. And I'm going to be sad. We'll go like this. And uh, we'll go here and just have that there. For potential job maybe I, maybe I should have kept the counter you you have to take the value now and kill this hawkins while you have the chance but you can only i guess you can kill this by discounting yeah i'm gonna play soro it has to be soro especially if the opponent gives me the tempest kick here then we are i feel like we feel pretty good about playing soro yeah, you have to attack here. By the way, that makes yeah. So the opponent, the opponent has it. The opponent has the uh, opponent has the Moria here. This is a Moria play. They kept one for Tempest Kick, and then they go Moria into Lucy. Yep. So I guess I shouldn't have given them the Bonnie, huh? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think about. I mean, opponent hadn't joined the Moria, so I was getting a little bit cocky. Uh, yeah, so I think we just play Sorrow, and we just hope if the opponent has a way to remove Sorrow, they should be okay. What are you thinking? It's just Lucy. I guess you can go Rebecca into Spandine. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go Rebecca, Spandine, and uh, you have a two drop. You can play Sp Spandam as well, right? And the Spandine can let you bring back, let you bring the Lucy. Yeah, so they have the perfect thing here. You go Spandam. And you go Rebecca. You play Spandine first to fill your trash. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You got it. They see the line. They see the line. They see the line, guys. Dolphy would have been really good, by the way. I remember, again, that one turn where the opponent had the two Sabos rested. Dolphy would have been 
Chef's kiss. Yeah. You search. You with the search at least. You get your Spandine. You play the Spandine, which brings you your Lucy. And you get to KO both. Yay! Opponent found it. <laughs> opponent found what they needed to do. Good for them. One, two, three, four attacks. Yeah, I mean, again, it's solo or nothing here. If you have the way to kill the sword, you have the way to kill the sword. If I can clear your board next turn, we might be okay. If you have another Tempest Kick, you just get there. So Tempest Kick into a second Sabo. A lot of ways, a lot of ways for the opponent to get there. I have to be careful because opponent could... Oh, they... okay, yeah, so they did it the right way here. Yeah, they did it the right way by uh yeah if they have the removal again there's nothing we can do tempest kid gets it down to three okay they have it and then you have a kaku yeah it is ggs nothing we can do there they have another tempest kick as well so yeah GG's. in this match are we going against kekomori um Hmm, I have a Cavendish. Is that enough? I don't know that that's enough. I think I want to look for my Basil Hawkins. That ends up being nice. We get the Bonnie. If I play the Bonnie, it just gives the opponent something to attack into. But is that okay? Am I willing to make that trade? Am I willing to make that trade here? Just letting Bonnie, Bonnie die? I think it's fine. Um, Second Roach? sure yeah i'll let her go we'll play roach get our stuff right yeah opponent's gonna go ahead and play the perona here i'm guessing oh they just didn't hit anything wait they actually that's crazy that's actually crazy to me yeah we'll go roach here get that down back doesn't matter because the opponent doesn't have another, another unit but at least this might force him to just ko this roach and if they do that first, I'm also okay with that. I'm also okay taking that one hit. They go for Sabo. Okay, Sabo. Sabo, Sabo, Sabo. Sabo, Sabo, Sabo. Sabo, Sabo, Sabo. Cavendish is not bad. Cavendish is not bad. If we can get it stabilized right now. That's five, but it's really three done. That really gave me two done back, so. And I guess that would let me. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Opponent shoot. Opponent's gonna actually block that? They're gonna actually block that. Okay, so if we go Cavendish, we can still attack this for seven. Or we can go ahead and attack it for eight. I mean, I guess I'm gonna rest the next turn. That's why the opponent didn't mind blocking it. Yeah, I think opponent didn't mind blocking it because of that. We'll go like this and just get the search here. And um, I think I need to start getting some counters in my hand. So I think I'm going to just pick the Apu. Oh, I forgot I had an extra down to play with. So I, should, I could have actually attacked for sets. <clears throat> I could have actually attacked for sets. At least make the opponent's block a bit more awkward. Yeah, that was a little bit down and efficient on my side because I forgot about my Uroge ability. Opponent should always be trying to kill this guy, right? Yeah, you wanna you wanna kill this Cavendish. <laughs> That's what I thought, right? So then here we can use this, rest this guy. Um, do we give them this blocker, I guess? Or do I care about Bonnie? Honestly, we can let Bonnie go. Uh yeah, so we can go here. We're gonna have one done here. Do we just go sit twice? Sits, sits, force two cards out of their hand. Okay. And then we play Hawkins. At the end of the turn, we get to restand a Dawn. We'll be able to rest one of their units anyway, so right? We can start looking for the Sorrow play. Eventually play the Flamingo. Uh, opponent has four cards in their hand. We still have four life. I don't see how we can lose this. I guess if the opponent has Gecko, 
they get to play Gecko here and get a lot of value. I know an issue would be a problem as well because I have so many cards in my hand. Stussy, if they're playing Stussy, but I don't think they are. Uh, I might might actually be better for me to rest this Gecko to be honest, just so that I prevent it from getting the leader ability. Do I want to let that die though? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go like this. Force the opponent to attack with it with their Sabo as well. Okay, this is the issue, just like I said. But we lost a Sorrow and this, so I think I'm okay with that. Let's go like this. All right. Now the problem with Isha is that everything's gonna be minus three, so this is gonna be at six. So it's not impossible for the opponent to, to get there. We're gonna get one down back here. So we could attack for six into this. And it still be okay. We could have also just gone Dofi, by the way. But I think I like the idea of Sorrow first. Question is, do I want to attack with this? Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna go like this. Yeah, I'm gonna just go like this. I like the Sorrow. I like the Sorrow to just clear their board. Because the opponent doesn't have a lot of ways to... Like, if they get rid of the Sorrow here, he opens up the window for this. They cannot get rid of this. They only have two attacks, I guess. I still like the idea of resting their Gecko. And just taking this. I'm completely fine with this. Okay, so they're going to go Gecko here. Um, the weird part now is the fact that we want to use this sorrow, right? So, I guess we'll start like this. I think I'm going to go Bonnie. So that's one, two. At least we have eight down to play with. The eight down that I have to play with can be used to just kill their stuff here. I guess I could also just attack into it and... This has to be the best time to play Dolphy, right? Opponent has too much of a board. They have too many cards in their board, so they cannot even... But I really want to kill that issue. I really want to kill that issue as well. We can go Bonnie to search. And yeah, I think I think it's going to be like this. So we have two for Bonnie, three for the Sorrow leader ability. That leaves me with three, four, five to play with. Eleven. Uh, let's go like this. That way the opponent really has to give me their whole hand if they want to save that issue. Because they can block with Borsalino once. Okay, they don't do it. We'll go like this. Attack into this bad boy. Uh, we'll go here. Search with Bonnie. Let's get ourselves... I guess he has to be the Cavendish. Nothing else here is a... Uh, it's like one of them, right? And uh yeah, I think we just pass here, right? Yeah, I think we just pass. And just chill. Next we can go Cavendish and Soro. Or we can just go Dofi. A second Gecko is less impactful now that the opponent doesn't have issue on the field. We have two blockers, one of them which cannot be removed by the opponent, right? Um, let's save it. I like this Cavendish way too much to let it go. I like this Cavendish way too much to let it go. Ah, sorry, this Hawkins. So they go Sabo. So they're going to have two blockers. I wish I had a Hody Jones here. Hody Jones would be really nice. There's no way you attack with the Borsalino, right? Yeah, I think I think attacking with Borsalino there is a mistake. Because now I now I can actually just kill both units, right? So um 5-9. Yeah, we can go like this. I guess. Mm, let me think about this. How do we want to do this? How do I want to do this? I want to kill that gecko for sure. I want to play this guy so that at least when we sit down. 
So 4, 3, 10, 11, 12. I guess we can go 11. We can go 11 here. Ah, okay, well, I mean, we, we're going to slowly clear their board, right? And we have enough answers to stall out, right? We had enough answers to stall out that it really didn't matter what the opponent played there because we were just going to clear both their Borsa and their Gecko with our Soro. Then we were going to play the second Roach, right? Or I guess at that point, I could have just played the Cavendish because the opponent ended up not saving the Gecko right away. So I could have just played that and then just go from there instead. So... GG's. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games here. Uh, unfortunately, Lushi is one of our worst matchups. Absolutely one of our worst matchups. It's really hard to deal with all the A-drops, especially because they're also able to just KO my big bodies. So they can just consistently KO their units. And then when they play a Gecko, they're able to develop too many bodies at once. And it's really hard to like keep yourself with enough pressure to pressure them, right? So really tough matchup there. Blue is usually also tough. I think Boa Hank is also tough for us. But the opponent ended up messing up, and we ended up kind of being able to clutch it out from there. Uh, if it wasn't because of that, it would have been another loss, right? Like I, I had a lot of losses with Bonnie. I don't know if I'm playing this incorrectly, or again, I think my list is honestly probably shit as well. But it's just tough. It's just tough. Against Gekko Morad, it did feel a little bit better than against Lushi, especially now that Gekko doesn't have great eruption. But still, I probably, probably kind of high rolled there a little bit. Uh, with the opponent not being able to deal with the solar, right? They didn't have the Ice Age, and that allowed us to kind of get that valley there and be able to just survive. But anyways, that's going to be it for, for us for today. We're going to have two more videos of Bonnie coming over with the next two days. So if you want to keep up to date with that, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.